this shit right now, this shit that we're doing, the Jags, this shit's just purely laughable these days. Like, we are laughably bad. I titled my live stream the trash bowl between the Jags and the Bills because we're both kind of struggling. But you guys made the Bills look like they were like a 12-win team. Josh Allen had 100 yards rushing. Josh Allen had 100 yards rushing and diced up our secondary when he had to. What His deep 70-yard bomb was like literally the prettiest pass I have ever seen in my entire life. That was a good throw by Josh Allen. I will give him that. Our defense as a whole could not do anything. Um, our secondary tried to do some things well, but like it didn't end up happening that way. Uh, Josh, Not to say Josh Allen necessarily tore us up on the passing game, um, because I do believe he only completed like 11 for 20-something, but with that being said, man, that's still Josh Allen. You know, the guy that Jalen Ramsey called out, the guy that we have been bashing on on Twitter. Like, we talked all this shit during the offseason, and look at us now. Seven game losing streak. You know, I said this a lot during the stream today because there's a lot of things wrong with Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles was a main catalyst today on why we lost this game, as he seems to be uh, every single week. That when he got offered this contract, it was basically Super Bowl or bust in the next two years. And right now, he is busting. And he is busting hard. And ladies and gentlemen, it is no nut November, so we can't be having any more busting on the Jaguars offense anymore. That's why the next couple of weeks, we should bench Blake Bortles, let Cody Kessler play out the season, and let's please just go all in on a new quarterback. Because I cannot sit here and take this anymore. I can't take this pressure because this offensive line, our offensive line is hot garbage. I can't take that anymore. Because he gets pressured, and it's just underneath the fullback of the running back every time. I can't tell you the last game where a Jaguars wide receiver led the Jags in receiving yards. It's always like TJ Yeldon, Leonard Fournette, you know, or even Tommy Bohannon in some case. He led the Jags in receiving uh, heading into the second half. And let's just talk about the obvious thing, the mental errors. It looks like this team has been checked out, and it looks like this team has been checked out for a long, long time. Let's talk about it. 24 combined uh, penalties between us and the Bills. That is what three and seven football teams do. And I understand we're three and seven. But with the talent on this team, man, there's so much personality. And for the fans, it's awesome. It really is. There's so much personality, hard hitters, people that want to win. But when you get called for all those penalties, you know, you need to dial it back a little bit. Like, Doug Marone has lost this team. The whole coaching staff has lost the Jacksonville Jaguars. That is a fact. Doug Marone has lost him. Nathaniel Hackett, for some reason, was calling plays up in the booth. He's never done that his whole career. There has to be something going on with that. But with the 23 penalties, man, that is just flat out unacceptable. Well, there was 10. They ended up having more. I know it seems like we had 23 penalties, but we had like 11 or 10 penalties the Bills ended up having more total, but still, 10 or 11 penalties, that is unacceptable. It's also unacceptable to be so stubborn with a quarterback that is literally doing so bad. Like, so bad. Like, get him out of there, he's doing so bad, so bad. Like, the Cody Kessler, in my opinion, as of right now, is not worse than Blake Bortles. Just let him play out the season. Our whole chance of going above 500 this year is gone. Now we are 3 and 8. Let Cody Kessler finish the season because Blake Bortles ain't it. He might get ain't alive without like with this offensive line cuz now Andrew Norwell's hurt. He's probably out for the season. And then we lost Cam Robinson, Brandon Linder, and Andrew Norwell all to season inju ending injuries. This season has been a complete and utter wash. It's been terrible. It's been awful. Hats off, though, to the Buffalo Bills because that was a good game. There are some playmakers that were on the Bills that I enjoyed watching play. Uh, I can't say some of my comments about Josh Allen being, like, really bad. Some of it is, I think, true because there was a couple of throws that, you know, they were incomplete um, and they, they weren't good reads or whatever. But there's a couple of times where Josh Allen definitely showed those flashes, and I think that he has the potential to be 
the Bills franchise quarterback. And I know what you guys are going to say in the comments, talking about how good he is and now how we have Blake Bortles and blah, blah, blah. But I, I don't condone the Blake Bortles-ness of this fucking team. <sighs> Josh Lambeau also ended his streak of like 26 consecutive field goals inside the and oh my god, like literally, if you, if they were going to make a video about the Jaguars in the 2000s, like this play that Dante Moncrief had, and the whole thing, like everything preceding it, that would be like the theme, like that's the opening moment. If you want to know a thing about the Jaguars football for the last 10 years, just look at this play. Bortles finally throws a 50-50 ball, Dante Moncrief Finally put some effort into it, catches it at the one yard line, and then just the absolute biggest brawl I have ever seen ensues. Shaq Lawson, Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette is throwing punches. He's boxing Shaq Lawson. Literally went up to him, squared up. And you know what happens? We get all the way back. Don't convert. Fourth and however long. Josh Lambeau kicks a 42 yard field goal, and he misses. That is Jacksonville Jaguar football. At its finest right there. That whole sequence is what it's been like to be a Jags fan for the last 10 years. It's it's stupid. I'm getting sick of it. The good players that are here aren't going to want to come back unless you do something immediately. Either fixing the coaching staff or fixing the quarterback position. Because it's just simply, Blake ain't it. You can't tell me. That if you improve this off, like if the offensive line was all healthy, you can't tell me that that just that much would help Blake Bortles because Blake Bortles straight up is playing bad. There's so many balls he places that are bad, so many balls that he places that aren't even close to receivers. And you know, I'm just done with the whole Blake Bortles experience, honestly. I'm done. I'm hopping off the ride. I want somebody else to come in and take the reins because we need something. We need somebody that's going to come in do good and make an instant impact and an instant change for this team because that's what we desperately desperately need at this point in time is change change and that's one thing our front office fucking hates is change so i wouldn't rely on it but that is what we need so the jaguars fall to the buffalo bills 28 i mean yeah tw no 24 to 21 and the Jaguars have now lost seven games in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, we have solidified the pick number six in the draft. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, have a great day.